welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Journey Divine, coming to you with another inspirational message. We are hidden secrets, things unknown, things that need to be discovered, answers to your questions about that relationship in disarray, no communication, separation, what's going on in the karmic intentions, the energy in your space, in your place. So tap in. Take what resonates, what does not. It's not for you. There will be others that will come through. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Come back again. Let's find out what's going on. Hidden secrets. Situationships. Textationships. <laughs> Don't you just hate those relationships are built only on text, FaceTimes, emails, messages. Never take you out, they never invite you nowhere. You hardly ever see each other. They're wondering why you're not more connected, more interested, more involved. Effort is not there. You question your worth, your time, your space, your energy. Do you bother? Maybe you're moving on, trying new waters. Dating scene is not the greatest these days <laughs> for a single woman, a single man, mingling, glowing up, coming into the best half of our lives, expecting more, reviving high. We just can't seem to meet that equal partner. Maybe we're still carrying a bag from what's left behind. We're checking the list. Judging them accordingly to our past. To make sure we do not experience the same heartbreak, mistreatment, abuse. Are we really ready? Are they really ready? Are we their only choice? Are we just an option? What's going on with that ex? Divine feminine. I'm talking to a divine feminine energy, male or female, grounded in emotion, emotional stability, abundant and fertile at this time, creating, manifesting, dreaming, planning ahead, going towards calmer waters, new love. Divinely favored and guided. The Empress is the ruler. She's powerful. She's highly intuitive. She's discerning. She is valuable to the planet. To Mother. She's Mother Earth. You could be a nerve sign, a uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus. She loves deeply, unconditionally. All favor her. She has options. Someone could be worried at this moment that you have options. Someone you moved on from. Someone watching you, wishing you, manifesting you back or new. Holding on with everything they got. Gripped by your love, by the memory of you, by nostalgia. This masculine, bonded, chained in a codependent relationship, maybe with a third party, a karmic, separated from their empress, from their divine feminine, they are feeling hostage, sabotaged, unable to move, manifest, unable to get you out of their essence, addicted to you. Anchor chase way down, way down by the memory of you. When to come through, but not knowing what to say or what to do. Because they are embarrassed, threatened by gossip in the community, friends and family, karmic interference. People are calling them a clown for leaving an empress like you. 
ghosting you, blocking you, not choosing you. They made a grave mistake. You were the one. Now they're afraid to show their face. Afraid to come forward to you. You were highly intuitive. You called it out to let them know what was waiting for them in the shadows. And now they feel foolish. This person is searching for you online, through your social media, through your platform, in the community, everywhere. They are searching your Akashic records. They are doing internet, Google, worldwide web searches, trying to get information on you. But this is not your ex. This is the karmic. You don't know this person. You've never met this person before. You've never seen them. They've never laid eyes on you other than through electronic devices. But they are with your ex. They are holding your ex hostage to come, to not be able to come forward to you. To not seek out their true happiness. To not go towards their wish fulfillment, their ten of cups. You are their ten of pentacles. They haven't been able to manifest happiness, joy, wealth, or creativity without you. You were the prize, the lifeline, the blessing, the connection, the spirit that allowed them to live their best. Yeah, this is what they're realizing now. It took separation. It took destruction. It took terrible moments. It took pain and poverty for them to wake up and realize through a soul awakening to see themselves and take accountability for their own choices. They blamed you. You were too graceful, too admired, too special, too envied, too popular, too beautiful. And they were jealous, envious of your blow up. Yes, your partner was jealous of you. And now they are begging for your help. This person could either be facing judication, a jail sentence. This person could already be incarcerated and wanting to reach out to you for help. This person could be in a mental institution receiving medical care for a breakdown. Or this person may just need help getting away from this karmic. Evil spell work and dark magic. They are caught under a web of deception, of lies. Your soulmate, your past life lover. You were meant to be together in this lifetime to fulfill a purpose. Archangel Michael has stepped in to protect you, beloved, from this karmic energy. This town moment about to hit the fall to make sure you were not in the way. You were not interceding, intervening, for your heart is so full of love and unconditional empathy, that you may full, feel a pull to go help this person, but Archangel Michael is making sure you are blocked, guarded. They're raising your intuition and your discernment to see that this is how it needs to be. This is coming just as that place so that you can be freed and receive all that was unjustly taken from you. Tick-tock goes the clock. Everyone's watching. Everyone's waiting for the ball to drop. The boom, the bang, the explosion. They know it's coming with all this water. Everyone's in their motions. And motions are running high at this time. Time is running out. For the incarceration. This lockdown. This towel moment. Because FBI, private investigators, authorities, lawyers, K-9, 
counselors, everyone is going through some interrogation, interviews, questions about criminal activity, stalking, blocking, theft, identity fraud. A lot of toxic behaviors went on between your person and this relationship they got involved in for greed, for addictive habits and behaviors. They need to run the streets. They need to feed this toxic seed that they could not find in a peaceful place with you. You made them see themselves, feel shame and guilt, so they made sure to not be around you more than necessary. Now your person looking to be single, looking to break free from this karmic, looking to heal, to mend, to restore their lives. You are single. You're moving on. You're bossing up. You're glowing up. And if they dare return, they know what the assignment will cost them. They're all ways, all behaviors, all addictions, that toxic energy, that low vibrational shadow that lives in them. You are their place of peace, of happiness, of true joy. But there is some adjudication, some legality, some criminal activity, something hanging over their head, and they are sending SOS into the ethers that spirits will bless them with your hand in this matter. They feel you are the answer to them receiving a resolution to being free from his karmic debt if they can just make it right with you. But you are not showing up, available, answering, responding, nurturing, anything old. You're focusing on your abundance, your fertility, your creativity, your businesses, healing, mending. So what will be the outcome at the end of the day? Spirit says they're still cheating. Reaching out to you for help. But they are still in these karmic connections. They still want that cake and eat too. They are still in their low vibrational energy. Self-fulfilling. Self-engrossed. All about them. They want to win. But you know something better is coming. Is approaching. Is waiting. If you can just keep your vibration high, high vibrational energy will magnetically attract you. The dreamer. Pisces energy. The high priestess. Highly intuitive. Highly discerned. Taps in. You are aware of all and everything. You get downloads in your dreams. You astral travel. You get messages from the ancestors. You are connected. Divine timing is at play. Spirit says be still. And know that I am God. And I have the final say. Wait and see. How joy and success. Shows up in your life. If you continue to part. From these energies. And little sexual healing will not do you wrong, beloved. You've been celibate for some time while you've been healing, purging, awakening, transforming. But Spirit says it's time to remember to feed your inner need without shame, guilt. Be passionate about your desires. Allow yourself to feel it will heal your heart space. 
Because you know you want it. <laughs> you know you want it. You know you need it. You're this beautiful divine being. And not everyone can have a piece of you. Yes. Understandable that you should know. This is true, but there is always another energy out there that can match yours. Gracefully. Dig deep. Go within. Be discerning. Use your intuition. Take advantage of opportunities. They will avail themselves. Plan ahead. Sexual energy, love, joy, harmony. It's all on the way. Be ready for when it shows up. That you can jump and die right in. And take advantage of what your ancestors have blessed you with. Tick tock again. Twice. Tick tock goes the clock. Can you feel the changes in the wind? Do you feel the excitement looming? The adrenaline rushing? The chariot moving, racing in? That is destiny coming through for you. You are favored, you're valuable, and you're worthy. And it is your time, beloved, to eat off a full plate of fruitfulness, for your harvest to come in, for you to see growth and change in a positive direction. That is your situations reading. Tap that like, leave me a comment. Share the video if you can. Subscribe. Book a personal reading. Everything you need to know is in the box below. This is your message. You will know. Things are looking up. But there's about to be some explosive events happening. Be ready. Protect yourself and your children. For some reason I'm hearing that. But y'all will not be touched. Y'all will not be bruised. Y'all will not be scathed. Angelic presence is all around you. Move accordingly. Stay focused on you. And what you got going on. Keep creating. Keep doing. Keep showing up. For spirit. And being a tool. Have a blessed day. Beautiful. God loves you. And so do I. I say.